Hi, I'm Sophie. And I'm Hannah. And welcome to my world. Well, Hannah, rubber band bracelets, taking over the world. Thank you. <laughs> so we're going to go over how to make a very simple rubber band bracelet. Okay. Okay, got those nimble fingers ready? Yeah. yeah. All right, so for this rubber band bracelet, what you're going to need, of course, are some rubber bands. Yes. And you can get these at the craft stores now. They come in bags of about a 500 for about $1.99. Okay. And they come in all these great colors. And you can get the bags either in mixed colors or in separate colors, which is what I've got here. And then you are going to need a pair of scissors. Okay. Um, we've created our own rainbow loom board, basically. It's much more simple. It's simplified, but it also doesn't cost any money. Basically what this is, is three layers of cardboard that I've glued together. This is corrugated cardboard. And then I've just got three um, thumbtacks, push pins. And you're gonna put them about a thumb's length apart. And then this one is gonna be important. It's gonna go down here to make like a triangle. Okay. Okay. So basically what we're gonna do is we are going to take one rubber band and just place it over those two. Okay. Right. Exactly. Oh, okay, this is, this is probably the trickiest part. And what we're gonna do is make the tie-off point. Now, if you've got O-rings, which are these um, little rings that you can use for mm -hmm. jewelry making, if you've got an O-ring, you can use it, but you don't need O-rings. You can always just tie the rubber bands off at the end. Okay. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, and you know, probably the easiest way is to place it on here so you can just see, and I'm going to reach under the blue one here and just pull it up so that it makes kind of like a cross. Do you see that there? Okay. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this up and over and put it on there underneath the other rubber band. And then I'm just going to release it and it ties it together. So take the bottom one, pull the bottom one up and over. Whoop. Ah, that didn't work. Let's try it again. So you pull it through here, pull this up and over, and pull this to underneath it. Ah. And, and then, then release the top one. Up. Oh, wait, didn't do it. Wait, try it again. Up and over and release. Hmm, why isn't yours working? Up and over. Um, and release. There it is. Ah, ha ha. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, so you go up and over, you're pulling it through, and basically you're just tying it off. Okay, then you let that go, so it undoes. Okay. And what you want to do then is pick up this pin and really push it down on top of that rubber band so it holds it in place. Like that? Yeah. And uh -huh. now we don't need this anymore, so we're going to take these two guys away. Yep. Okay. So we don't need those. Those can go off to the side. So what you're going to do is this stays attached to the board, right? And you want to push that down. Put your fingers, two of them, inside those rubber bands. Because okay. see how you had that like little butterfly of okay. a rubber band? You want to put your finger in there. Uh -huh. And I need to put two fingers in because my fingers are so big. And then you're going to take your next rubber band and you just want to feed it through and replace your fingers Awkward. with the rubber band. And then, again, put your fingers through. Like that. And then you take your next color, rubber band. I see. Feed it through. Let it go. And put your fingers back in. So you're always like reaching through. So you're always taking it, folding it in half basically, and then putting your fingers through those rubber band holes. And that's going to start making your pattern here. Okay, so I'm going to go back to blue after. Oh, no, it's orange, orange blue. Yeah, blue. So keep going. And oh my gosh! I'm you not getting using it? Pink. What's that? Not using pink. Why no, are you I, not using pink? I don't pink know. Pink is your favorite color. I, I know. thought. That's ah, uh, wow. silly girl. What's wrong with me right what now? What is wrong with you? I don't know. I think it's because I, I it's, really don't know. It's the end of a long school day. Mm -hmm. And you haven't really eaten yet. Mm. I'm gonna go. What's after the orange is blue, right? And so you just keep doing this. You just keep adding more rubber bands. You fold them in half. After blue is pink. Pink. You know mm. I'm not a pink person, and I'm mm. putting pink in mine for you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> pink. You're so sweet. <laughs> and then orange. And then a green. Ooh, got some stuck together there. And so you can make this as long as you want. 
look at the close-ups of my really chipped nail polish. <laughs> <laughs> we have to do a little manicure section. Yes. Okay, if you want to, you can pull this down okay. a little bit to give you some space. So then after green, I'm going to go blue. So this is about ready to tie off. And if you wanted to tie it off at the end with the rubber band, you would do the same thing that we did before, which is take your rubber band, feed it through, and then reach through and pull this one through so it ties it off. I'm, I'm happy with mine. Are you? Okay. It's, it's cool. not very long, but... Well, we'll okay. use yours. You know what we'll do? We'll use yours for an O-ring. Ha! Okay, so, can I have your wrist? <laughs> so now what we're going to do is take Hannah's wrist, and I'm just going to feed this end through here, and I'm just going to tie this off. Okie dokie. And now, there you go. And we can cut the little extra off. And there you have it. <laughs> and so the collection increases. <laughs> For more rubber banding ideas, come and check us out at sophie-world.com. I like that. You're, you're like really it. art. Would you like this one? Yes, please. Okay. Oh, present time. Mm -hmm.